Hello, um, welcome again. Um, today um, I'm here to teach you in more detail um, absorption costing and activity based costing. But this time the example used is from ACCA F5 BPP uh, study text. You can find it out online or you can buy or you can, I mean, you can purchase from any book. The reason for giving ACC example is ACCA mostly giving exam questions that are very hard. Uh, most of the students find it very difficult. Uh, if you get a grip of this kind of question, uh, then you can easily pass uh, your management accounting exam. Um, you will get some kind of question from activity based costing, it's just general idea. But once you get the idea on just the basic knowledge, then you can handle the hardest question as well. Now, if you get this kind of question, as, now, let's just begin in the previous video, as I said, absorption costing and activity based costing, nothing to do with calculating cost. The purpose of these two costing method is to allocate this fixed overhead. Fixed overhead, like here in this example, if you can see overhead cost in, in the form of short run, here, if you can see the um, cursor, a short run variable, setup cost, altogether is 30,800. Don't worry about variable overhead. Variable overhead can be easily found out. If you see, um, there is two direct variable overhead, one in the form of labor, one in the form of material. Now, for this W, this belongs to the product W, is required one hour per unit, and you're making 10. So total for this product is 10 times one is 10 hours times five, so 50 pounds for this product in the form of direct labor hours. Now, however, the problem lies in allocation of this particular uh, fixed overhead. Now, the question asking, uh, the, if you read this kind of question in exam, so don't be afraid, it's just very simple. Uh, so just look for information, what the teacher asking, what the teacher looking for. So then here is on the next page, if you can see, uh, prepare a unit cost for each product using absorption costing or activity based costing. Now assume that traditional absorption costing overhead are absorbed at the direct labor hours rate. Now direct labor hours, there's no problem in finding direct labors. If the question asks machine hours, so machine hours would be one unit one hour times 10 for this one. So that is 10, three times 10, 30, and that is one time 100 for this one. So it's mean all together for the company, for all. The same is the question asking labor hours. So in this case is one time 10, uh, three times 10, 30, that is all together 40 plus 100. For this one product Y and for the Z is 300 altogether. 440 hours. Now the cost is this one 30,800 using labor hours. Labor hour is 440. So the cost per direct labor hour is 70 pounds. Now, as I said in the question, there's no problem. Absorption costing is very simple. Now, direct material, as they're saying, is 200. Well, you can, you can do it on a unit basis, but I would advise you to calculate in total and then divide by number of unit. Now, direct material is 200, 800, 2000, for the Z is 8000. How they got this information? Simple is that. That direct material, so $20 per unit, 10 units, so altogether 200. For this one is 800 80 times 100 800 for this one is 20 times 1000 now 100 that is 2000 the other one is 8000 if you can see this information that is direct material you see that one is 200 for the w it's very simple calculation then direct labor direct labor is 50 pound 50 and then 150 500 for the y and this 1500 is for the z now how they got this information look at this one is one hour required to make it 10 units so total 10 hours yeah like one unit required one hour so 10 units 10 hours and the cost per hour is 
55 dollars so total 50 pound 10 hours time five for example if some labor working with you paying him five pound five dollar per hour or five pound per hour sorry i'm using word pound because we be living in london so it's easy for me to use the word or currency pound now all together is 50 pound for this one will be how many hours three hours per unit so 10 units so 30 hours yeah someone working 30 hours uh, if you're paying him five pound or five dollar per hour so that will be 30 times five so follow the same procedure for the rest and you can get uh, this information see 50 150 if you do this calculation with calculator you can get all these figures now what's the problem the problem is on that two direct material direct labor you can get you can't get too much marks maybe you can get one mark for this one because it's all given to you the most of the marks you will getting in a location of fixed overhead if you recall using a direct labor hour per labor hour is 70 dollars okay now uh how to locate so in w find out in w how many hours the labor done so it's very simple uh, one unit times 10 like all the time looking both sides so, so 10 times one so that is 10 hours yes and the cost the fixed overhead cost is 70 yes so 10 times 70 i think is 700 then follow the same procedure for the x no, x let me just give you another example x is see three hours per unit total unit 10 so that is 10 times 3 is 30 hours and the fixed overhead part of this product is so multiplied by the 70 so that will be 2100 so all together you add them up okay unit produce is 10 which is given you an example so the cost per unit is 95 305 95 305 What's the problem with this method? It's very really simple, easy to understand, but why is being challenged? Now, if you look at this one, is this seventy dollar per direct labor hours? Do you think so? That the fixed cost is mainly because of the labor working, the direct labor working. It's, it's look like that the fixed cost is um, incurred or occurred just because the labor was working not at all obviously labor hours this this direct labor hours you already calculated but why using again direct labor hours to allocate this fixed overhead if you look at this one is this fixed overhead comes from different sources for example short run variable cost nothing to do with the labor yeah setup cost again nothing to do with the labor okay uh, scheduling cost nothing to do with the labor direct handling cost nothing to do with the labor now these are different activities these are different activity so for this reason you should use activity based costing yeah to satisfy all this full product because this product needs to be sold in the market if this costing is wrong for example 95 3 it means you wrong allocation yes because you allocated the 700 2100 now this product may be the competitor selling it for 100 pound or 100 dollar yes or maybe just 95 how are you going to sell it in the market or maybe they're just selling it for 90 pound yes and your cost come 95 this means this product is loss making okay so if you use activity based costing using activity based it we assume that the number of production run is the cost driver for now first of all what is the driver driver is what drive the cost what making the cost what activity for example you hire someone for a particular job okay so it means this particular job is responsible for the cost now, for this reason if you see activity now here is the idea if you go back again so short run variable or head yes you can use direct labor yeah it's okay setup cost for this reason you want is number of setup is responsible more you're setting up machine obviously one production run finished then you using machine for another production run so that will expedite in scheduling the more you scheduling okay material handling 
and any department so you look at this activity in each for each product and then use those activity to allocate this fixed overhead you see here is they uh, for this 3008 okay variable this for use for they use machine hours machine hours you see this course is given to you as already split in three pieces okay this one look short run variable or um, cost you can use either labor hours it's still fine but they use machine hours okay now machine hours is given to you look at machine this one one times ten thirty the same ten times three thirty yes um sorry one times ten ten three times ten thirty okay three hundred all together will be four forty now this so look at this cost is the first one thirty three thousand eighty divided by four forty so per machine hours so look at this machine hours how many machine hours done for the first one is ten hours so its cost is per hour is seven so that is seventy pounds see for this one we follow the same procedure that two ten yeah for each product look at this machine hours how many time machine was running like um, how many hours machine done now production run you see production run cost is separate okay find out the number of production run production run okay it's given to you if you look at this question i said to you in exam be focused see number of production run so total is given to you 14 run and then take a portion so a total cost of this production run divided by 14 and then take proportion this 14 is made of two two four um, five five tens all, all together 14. now then the other cost is uh expediting and scheduling cost now schedule again how what's for this reason they use scheduling scheduling is again production obviously machine required schedule okay again 14 production run so it's 650 per production run okay because this cost is different slightly you see expediting cost um if you go up so i'm going keep going up and up so, so that is nine thousand uh, one hundred. okay material handling okay again material handling will be you now who is handling material obviously you can use either uh, again production run so the more um, material handling when the assembly set up if you work in a company so there will be many time uh, you need to set up machinery uh, for different product if you think about like bmw mercedes different product now uh, sometimes assembly setup required okay so then we're using this co cost okay now look at this one you add them up okay and then divide by number of unit 10 so the cost per unit so here this thing is given like for production run is 550 yeah and if you recall if you see up how many production run is done two yeah so 550 times two is 1100 yes here okay you see two production run so it's very simple it's simple like um you just need to proportion okay now if you see add up so the cost per unit here coming 428 see for this one is 512 for this one is 131 for this one is 215 like see this is the total cost divided by 100 so 215 now using absorption costing if you make analysis using absorption costing this product was very expensive but look at this one now the same product but you allocated say variable cost didn't change it's clearly saying no change but the fixed production overhead is being allocated by using activity based costing by using absorption costing was 21000 activity based costing Mm, is less than that so obviously this production manager will be very happy to accept activity based costing because activity based costing is just 215 like resulted in total cost variable cost don't worry about variable cost is well known is given to you okay this product mm, fixed overhead is the problem so these two method is used only for allocation of fixed overhead well, if you have any question, you can drop me a comments. Okay, 
and can do a calculation 